Welcome back to Inflow Technologies Day in the Life PDM User Series. I'm Nick Sweeney, and today let's talk about saving and adding new files to SolidWorks PDM. Engineers are always creating new documents. Whether that's a new assembly, drawing, or even a write-up in Microsoft Word, we need to be able to have that in our vault. Here, we have a model I've been working on in SolidWorks. Now I'm happy with it, and I want to add it to PDM. I'll just do a save as like normal and browse to my vault. Once I find my folder, I'll check this include all references components box. This makes sure that all of my references come over with my assembly. When I click save, PDM pops up the data card. Here, I can fill in any information I might not already have in my custom properties. Now notice that it's going to do this for every component. If we want to just skip over the remaining documents, maybe they already have that information they need, we can select the add the rest of the files without showing the style bots and click OK. When I go back into Windows Explorer and refresh, you'll notice that every file I had open is now saved in PDM. But what if I have a file already saved and I just want to move it over? While SolidWorks PDM is built on top of Windows Explorer, meaning we can do a simple drag and drop to add a new file to PDM. Now this is only half the battle though. See here that it says that the files are checked out by admin? This will say whatever your username is and it indicates that the files are still local. We want to change that, so I'll select all of the files in my folder, and I'll click check in. I have to enter in a comment stating what I'm doing, and then I'll click check in. Now my files are saved in the vault and have been properly checked in. I can now view my files, share them, and do whatever I need to.